Hi everyone, I'm Faustina and I'm one of the representatives for Jan Cosmic Foundation UK and we the students and the reps are very excited that doctor is here with us. He arrived on Sunday morning and yesterday we had an amazing tour of Sussex. In fact we went to the uh, to West Sussex Shoreham Beach and then we went to East Sussex uh, Seven Sisters Country Park and um, then we went to Beachy Head um, and then we even toured Lewis but Doctor is currently based in Brighton at the moment. We are pleased that he's here to serve us and we are pleased that he is here with us. My trip to uh, the UK in fact, um, the, ver the very first thing that was touching was the, the love of the um, students, um, the joy, yes, um, they've been practicing and it's taking them somewhere. So I could see some of them already expressing aspects of the joy, aspects of the love, aspects of uh, the peace. And that was the first thing that touched me. At the, right at the airport, um, some of the students came to meet me and just what I saw in their faces. You see, when the mind is expanding, then there is joy. There is love. And there is peace. And I could see this when I saw them. Then, um, when we got into uh, London, I realized where, like, where I went to settle, that is uh, Brighton, it's a quiet place, and a lot of greens, a lot of greens, that means uh, nature is really um, admired by the people and that is very good, very good. Closer to nature, closer to God. And this I found not only at uh, Brighton, everywhere. So, it has been very lovely. I went to the conserved forest and it was uh, right in town. And they have a lot of parks for relaxation. Like I've always said, when you work, you must balance it with privacy and that privacy has to do with rest. No use for privacy if it is not for rest. Then it's another form of work. Work can be moved from physical to mental. So if you move away from physical work and your mind is busy, you are stressed, you are anxious, you are still working. You're still working. And it can get you so tired, so you never rested in the long run. Well, I went on uh, to see, they took me to see Buckingham Palace, really uh, grand uh, place, beautiful atmosphere, 
The interesting thing is that um, they keep history and they draw inspiration from it. The important thing about history is the inspiration you can draw from it. Otherwise, it is meaningless. A lot of tourists were there and I could see a lot of them were excited and uh, there are other places the Greenwich Meridian you want to see we also um, National Museum yes and uh, of course uh, that is where they are keeping a lot of the history it's good it's not everything history they keep but things that can inspire and that is what makes history important and it also means right now we are making history therefore we should be involved with things that inspire or that will inspire the younger ones coming so the other things i noticed in this trip is also in town there is so much discipline and uh, sharing or expressing pleasantries that is so good yes um, I also uh, I was also taken to a Royal Pavilion uh, where one of the kings King George Actually, we went through to see all the places inside. Really, really uh, remarkable. Really. And uh, a lot of things we have lessons to learn from. And uh, when the mind goes through these things, certainly, certainly, it brings some yearning to uh, grow. Because we can see from that time till now, there are a lot of changes that have taken place. Those days, uh, the magnificent things, some of them right now, we may uh, look down on those things. So every epoch, every period, there is something that is really magnificent. So right now, we should actually make things magnificent so that the future can also be referred to. Yes. Uh, the lovely uh, students, um, they were with me everywhere. Uh, we went to a, ret a retreat. And uh, during the retreat, all of them were committed to um, the practices we went through. And they were sincere, they were honest, they, asked, they were, um, well, they are real seekers. And they demonstrated it at that uh, retreat. We also had lectures with the public, and these were all organized by the students. 
and I say kudos to their elbows because whatever we do that reaches out becomes a service that will by all means have an impact. It takes time but it will have an impact. Like, it, like the saying goes, little drops of water makes the ocean. So, brothers and sisters, there is a period we are in that we need to uh, get people seeking like the students of UK all over um, yearning to see seekers to rise to that standard so there is a mystery it is like all of them have been strategically positioned the uh, videographer professional happens to be a student and uh, we had another student putting himself in the position of Aaron's man doing everything then we had this wonderful lady um, who hosted my coming uh, in her house. She and her husband, a wonderful couple. The husband happens to be white, but this is why I said uh, this is strategic that Grace Spirit had arranged. She was functioning beyond, he functions beyond uh, situations that others could have reacted to. She was so open. wonderful couple. Then another student offered his vehicle all the rounds. So this kind of, uh, how to explain it? You can't uh, normally get people to do that. Unless uh, they see something that is good for them. And, uh, they left their work because my travel happened to be uh, mostly um, work days. I had to go around and they would leave their work to attend to me. And I know they understand, they understand the purpose of my coming. So brothers and sisters, this is uh, UK.